Hello and welcome back to Kurosisham. Once again, we're looking at another silly craft today. This is a Z35, which is loosely inspired by someone else's attempt to make an F35, which isn't super accurate, but I thought it was interesting enough in how simple the design was that I wanted to try my own version. And so here we are on the runway. Let's go full throttle. Let's give it the afterburner. SAS, and it should be able to take off relatively quickly. I think we have about a 1.4. Oh no, we don't have a 1.4 at uh, bleh, thrust to weight ratio at this point. This has pitch and trim controls, just like everything I make does now. We have a surprisingly low thrust to weight ratio, and it is not super maneuverable, which I forgot, which is why I just immediately crashed it. But it's very survivable, at least with Kerbal Crash System installed. Okay, I'll attempt to be a little less reckless with this one this time. And I've already fucked it up. Yeah, it's not not super great. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, the way the rest of the plane fell off and then just came back and smashed into me again. Ah, I forgot. Elevon 5s? These? They're very slow to react to changes. They're not as fast as the other control surfaces. So rolling is very slow to respond on this. I believe it also has a relatively large moment of inertia due to the size of the craft. It's very large, very fat, very heavy, uh, which is why it's two engines clipped together because it actually just doesn't have enough space for one and or doesn't have enough uh, oomph with one. And even with two, you can see that it is a very sluggish, very large build here. I believe we get above, mm, excuse me, a thrust to weight ratio above one once we engage the afterburners. And uh, it is possible to have a thrust to weight ratio above one without the afterburner, if I remember correctly, but only barely. And so this is very much not a powerful plane. And then unlike my favorite fighter designs, where they have two engines in parallel, you know, next to each other horizontally, uh, usually two panthers. Uh, with two panthers, you can have roll control with your thrust vectoring, meaning that when you start to stall out like I'm doing right now, you have roll control, whereas right now you see I don't have roll control until I gain a little bit more speed, and so I have to stop pitching up to roll the rest of the way out of something like this. So you can see I, I, I lose control entirely if I keep pitching at the same time. The only reason I didn't crash this time is because I finally remembered that this is extremely roll limited. So you can see how bad it is with that particular limit. Possibly has a good long range though with the amount of fuel on board, although I'm really not sure, especially with two engines and the amount of drag it surely has. Anyhow, thanks for watching. That's all for today. See you crashing into the ground at high speed, uncontrollably.